Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna teach you on how to create, attach and mount extra EBS volume to your Linux based EC2 instances in AWS Cloud. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So first, what I've done is, I've created an EC2 instance, a Linux based EC2 instance. So with the name extra volume demo, and this is the instance ID and the state of this machine is up and running. All right. So now to check what are the EBS volumes attached to this instance, you can select this instance, go to storage. And if you see here, you have volumes that are already attached volume ID along with the device name and the size. So right now, this is the only device that is attached, which is of eight gigs. Okay. So to create new, so you have to uh, create new volume. So for that, you need to come all the way down in the left hand side. So if you see elastic block store under volumes, now I'll open it in a new tab. So if you see, this is the only volume that is uh, currently in my account. All right, so let us go ahead and create a new volume so we can attach to the EC2 instance that is up and running. And one more thing, keep a note that so you need not stop and restart your instance if you want to attach a new volume. So you can do it on the fly. So you need not expect any downtime when you attach a new EC2 uh, volume. Okay, so let us also verify in the EC2 instance itself. So how to do that? So first let us connect to EC2 instance using EC2 instance connect method. So you just need to run a simple command to see what are the different EBS volumes that are attached to this EC2 instance. Okay, right now I've logged in to this EC2 using instance connect method. Let me log in as a root user, sorry root user sudo su hyphen so this is the command to be a root user so let me clear my screen now if you run df hyphen h it will show you what are the volumes that are already attached to this ec2 so if you see dev xvda1 so it is of 8 gig size and this is the volume that is already attached okay and this is a root volume if you see slash that is a root volume okay so now what shall we do is we'll create a new volume and attach to this particular ec2 instance okay so let us do that so for that come and uh, here in the volume sections okay so now let us create a new volume click on create so here you have many different volume types so depending on your use case go ahead and select whatever you want so if you want to uh, change this iops uh, if you need to go and select your provisioned IOPS, so there is general purpose GP3, GP2, and cold HDD, magnetic, all those that are, are there. But for this use case, I will go with general purpose SST GP2. Okay. So, what is the size that you want? You can select 100 GB, how much ever you want. For this use case, I will go with 20 GB. Okay, so throughput or uh, IOPS, I cannot change it as uh, we are going with general purpose. If you want to change the IOPS, you can go ahead with the provisioned IOPS. Okay, so one more thing, one important thing is you need to create and attach the volume in the same availability zone as of your EC2 instance. So go ahead and verify where exactly your EC2 instance is located. So it is in US East 1C. So then you need to create the volume in the same availability zone. Okay. So I'll select US East 1C. And one more thing. So snapshot, it is available in the multi availability zone. But when the e when you're creating an EBS volume and attach it to the uh, EC2 instance, you need to create it in the same availability zone. Okay. So you also have the option to create the EBS volume with the snapshot. B but for this use case, I'm not going with a snapshot. So there is an option to encrypt your volume. If you want, you can encrypt. So to keep it simple, I'm not going to encrypt. 
okay so if you want you can you you know create a kms key and select the kms key here so that uh, it will encrypt your volume okay so if you want you can add a tag so let me add a tag i'll add a name tag sorry typo here name as uh, extra volume okay makes sense right i'll i'll just add extra volume and click on create volume so now if you see so you have created a new volume with extra volume if you see uh, it is of 20 gb and previously we had 8 gb now if you see the state volume state is still in creating stage let me refresh if it is available state so your job doesn't end here so first you need to attach this ec2 volume sorry ebs volume to your ec2 instance so how to do that select the extra volume that you have created go to actions click on attach volume so here you have the option to select the instance that you want to attach it to so right now i only have one ec2 instance so i can select that and the device name so if you want you can change it or go with the default okay so i'll go with the default and click on attach volume okay so now we have attached our volume so now previously if it was showing available right now it is in use that means it is attached to one of the ec2 instance okay so now let us go ahead and see if the extra volume is available to us how to do that so again run the same command df hyphen h in ec2 instance so you see you only see the 8 gb volume so no extra volume is attached the reason is you after after creating and attaching it to your ec2 instance one more thing that you need to do is you need to create a directory and mount that ebs volume to your ec2 instance okay so let us do that right now okay so first let me clear my screen so for this what i've done is i've documented the commands that are required for this particular use case so there are uh, to not to confuse you so these are the commands that we need for this particular lesson so i've documented everything i'll make sure to add all of them in the description box below okay so first we had check what is the uh, volumes that are available so by using df hyphen h now so to list all the block devices that are there in this particular machine i need to run lsblk that means list blocks so let me copy that and paste it here so lsblk so it will list out all the volumes that are available so if you see or the blocks that are available now if you see xpdf with a 20 gb or uh, it is available for us right it is a disk and it is available for us but it is not yet mounted okay so so after listing out now you want to check if the file system is available to the new ebs volume so how to check this is the command that you need to run file hyphen s dev uh, slash dev slash xvdf so what is the device you are using or the device name that you are using you need to run this command with the file hyphen s okay so let us run that and check if the file system is available okay so if you see here if you see data here that means there is no file system if you see i've also documented that if you see data meaning is that you need to set up file system for this block device okay so how to create or how to set up file system so you just need to run a simple command to create a file system okay so what is the command mkfs hyphen t xfs this is the volume uh, sorry uh, file system and dev xvdf so this is the volume that we have created right so let us run this command my the file system got created all right so now let us do one thing so let us go ahead and create a new directory okay so let me create this directory so to attach volume you need to create a directory so let me paste this one so this is the directory that i am creating okay so i've created that directory now let me get into this particular path so i just want to be here okay so let me do that so let me copy that so i can really type it but to make sure uh, to not consume more time i'm i'm going with the copy paste method okay so i'm inside this my data folder okay or directory 
so now let us mount the volume so the mounting of volume is really important so this is the command to mount the volume so what is the command mount so this is the device name or the volume name okay and this is the path so what is the path right now i'm uh, i mean uh, data my data section here in this path apps my data so i just want to mount this here in this path okay so let me run this command and this will automatically mount your new ebs volume okay so let let me run that command now okay so it says mount point doesn't exist so what we do is so let us go ahead and give the full path so let me give my full path here so that uh, let us check if that works okay so let me copy that and paste it here okay now if you see the mounting has happened so if you do not get this error that means mounting is successful so how to check if the volume is available or not so you remember the command right so df hyphen h so if you see 20 G, 20 gb of uh, file here for the uh, volume here that means you are good see this got attached that means we have successfully created an ebs volume attached an EBS volume and also mounted that EBS volume to our EC2 instance. Okay, so that's it for today's video. So if you're liking the content that I'm creating, please consider subscribing, subscribing because I've noticed that 98% of our viewers have not subscribed to the channel. Please consider subscribing and thank you for watching.